When well truly rammed, you have no cannonball, so this is the flank charge prepares to fire. Health and safety dictates you must have a, must not have any space for anybody to stand in front of this cannon. When it fires, the flame will come out. It will burn you severely. In the old days, you have a cannonball in there, and the gun would be hauled forward. This is because as the gun fires, the inertia of the cannonball being blown out makes the cannon actually recoil. It would roll back five or six feet. These gentlemen here would grab that rope, pull it back a bit further. When it's far enough back, you worm it out, you swab it out, you reload it. Okay. On my instruction, you will not grab the rope and pull back like Billy If you do that, three things will happen. First, you'll fall over, maybe twist an ankle. Second, you'll burn all the skin off your hands when you're gripping the rope and you go over. Third, you'll bang your head on the floor. Remember, it's health and safety. Any damage has to be paid for, yes? <coughs> Save your pocket. What you will do is you <coughs> raise your legs slightly like so. You fall slowly. You are not heaving. You're falling hand over hand. Place hand over hand, short like that. Not very long. The cannon needs to triple forward. It does lay and so the forward. You do not need to do it. The whole thing within 60 seconds. Gunners, two seats. Heave the gun forward. Nice and steady. Not a lane, okay? Then it's moving forward. Keep it rolling. Well done, gentlemen. Please drop the ropes. This end of the gun barrel has the paper charge. We have a touch hole above it. The vent. What you must do, you must pierce the charge. You take out this item. What do you say? Huzzah! Let's get Peter three cheers. Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! I'll buy this cannon now for Peter's birthday and to celebrate that victory. When the cannon goes off, it'll be loud. And I'll ask you to cover your ears in a second. Also, some smoke and ash may blow in the wind against your person. If it does, brush it off your clothes quickly. Ladies! When the ash goes in your hair, you can't one, two, three like that, save you 60 quid on a perk. <laughs> no problem. Make ready. Please cover your ears. I will give fire.
second one, but wow, they fly just like birds, don't they? Oh.
Look at the man for Oh, 
Oh, yes, yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm tempted to say good afternoon, but I think I'll just leave it at afternoon. Um, um, so nobody warned me that I'd need a dinghy to get to, to the governor enclosure today. Um, so we're going to have to wait for the water to, to subside a bit. Anyway, um, as you can see, um, on days like today, they'd be a long, long way away from you. You'd almost be using a pair of binoculars to see them. So um, there is a, 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 a lining to every... Um, uh, my name is Sarah, I'm uh, your conservation communicator, a bit dark around the edges today, but there you are, we're still here. And uh, the keeper on our section today is Emma. Emma is going to be going, she's got a facility on the route, and gorillas do have a mainly vegetarian diet in the wild, they need to be feeding on roots, shoots and foliage. And they have a very fibrous diet. Um, get this, the, the equivalent of fibre to about 50 boxes of all brand per a day per a head. Um, I think most of us have got a problem with a spoonful, haven't we? So Emma has her work cut up for her keeping the fibre content of this animal start up. Introduce you to them. I'm going to tell you a bit more about them and why they're so threatened and the ways in which we here at Doral are involved in helping save them from really, really closely. Um, but could I ask you please not to stare at them? That's why we've put this camouflage netting up to try and take the pressure off the animals because actually it's very threatening for a gorilla to be stared at. Um, it's not a bonding situation. And if you'd like to make friends with a gorilla this afternoon, what you need to do is to get sort of down on, on your knuckles to almost their level and give them short sideways glances and that way you'll be saying let's, let's be friends, let's have a go. So, uh, let's find out who's who. And I know we're all looking at the side where the most spectacular animal is, but uh, on the right hand side we've got two lovely females, so I hit that. And um, being the dominant female of our group, she has an important role to play here at Doll. Especially when Jumbo died very suddenly some years ago, it was then that Kishka came into her own taking over responsibility of the group. Her daughter Sakina is quite difficult to tell apart from her, but both these females do look kind of quite plump. And the most commonly asked question here at uh, this enclosure is, are they pregnant? Actually, no, they're not. They're not expecting. Um, quite simply, gorillas do have the appearance of Buddha with great big um, tummies um, because of the fiber content that actually goes through their diet. They literally have to have more intestine in them to absorb the fiber as it goes through the system. So if you were to poke their tummies, it would be very, very firm indeed. Um, I think possibly though there's only one female that we're taking an interest in here, and her name is Halala Kahili. She's the mum over on the left-hand side of the enclosure in front of me. And she's easier to spot because she's got a large boss line than everybody else, and that's because she's mum to the youngster there, whose name is Yapili. Yapili's three years old, and the name Yapili is the Healy for the second. And he's called the second because the proud father is called the first, and his name is Yapanza. Now, perhaps you won't be surprised to hear that if you pop your crumbs along the bathroom scales, 
he'd weigh in at about 35 stones. And he too is a very important animal. The Menya Kwanzaa Swahili for the first, and he's called the first because it is the first gorilla to be born by artificial insemination in it. Over 600,000 people went to visit him, and when he celebrated his birthday and at Christmas time, he would be inundated with cards and gifts. In which case, these young males were split off to lead a bachelor lifestyle in the bush, joining up with other bachelors to do boys' things together, as they do, until they could find young ladies of their own to start their own family group with. So in conservation circles, we have to try and imitate this world's environment. And this, of course, we can only do with cooperation from other zoos around the world. And that's how come we have a gorilla all the way from Melbourne Zoo in Australia. He came to Jersey on a blind date. His blind date was with Halala Kahili. She fancied him on arrival. And we were, uh, no doubt, afterwards, he'll go off to another zoo for another breeding programme. There's one young lady who saw through this afternoon. That's because the animals are confined indoors. Her name's Bahasha, and every so often you will see her at the far left-hand side of the enclosure, little face will come to the door. And she's a bit shyer than the others. When they're outside, she tends to be a bit more of a loner. It's only because she's um, our more recent arrival from Melbourne Zoo, and she's still integrating with the group. And she's doing really well, actually. She, she loves playing with uh, our um, youngster here and the other females, but, you know, let's face it, when you're a delicate young lady from down under, and you're suddenly faced with 35 stones of testosterone, it must be a bit of a daunting affair. But she is doing all the right things, so obviously we hope for many more happy events to happen in this enclosure in the not too distant future. Talking of happy events though, lots of people who visit us here at Doral want to know how on earth we can tell when we've got a pregnant gorilla on our hands here. And it is interesting that gorillas are like human beings in every single way. So gorillas share the same signs and symptoms of pregnancy as we do. So a few years back when Halala Kahili showed signs of early morning sickness was when we became suspicious of her condition and ran a pregnancy test on her, which of course proved to be positive. The gestation period for a gorilla is eight and a half months, and to be wondering what sort of pregnancy testing kit we'd use with one of these animals, well once again because they're like human beings, we actually get away with using a human style pregnancy testing kit for many chemists. So ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon you're looking at Western Lowland Gorillas, which are one of five subspecies of gorilla that uh, can be found in Africa. And sadly these animals once again are severely threatened in the wild. The last hour. I'm bringing the bed with me. Ah, t'as vu, t'as dansé là. T'es content. Content, content. Il a sorti de la plaine. Regarde les petits derrière, ils croisent les bras, c'est rigolo. C'est rigolo. C'est vraiment la principale attraction. C'est ce qu'il veut le plus. Je vais terminer les gamins là, c'est ça qui leur plaît le plus. Regarde le bloc, on va s'en faire rigoler. Tu mets des bras, ouais. C'est une boule dans la tête. Ah, C'est les Rambo, Rambo Rambo de la 
Bon, tu montes tes fesses là, tout. Ouais. I think so, she was the one who was on her own. Yeah. You can't take too many, we can always delete some, can't we? He's watching the one that's down here. Stop! Oh, I see why he was moving. That's why I've just put a photograph. Hello. Hello. She would have done her talk. Just standing around here, I suppose. Yeah.
Even it again. <laughs> A bit of what looked like lemon and put it back down again. I don't want. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. What are you done? Not only that, you're pretty scared. You won't believe it was the same holiday? No, you won't believe it was like 10 minutes later, would you? Look at that face. I'm oh, sorry. That's the Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> look, little baby clinging on the back. Now look. <laughs> That's it. He pulled him. That's right. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah.